What's going on guys, Zach Gudikov here. Welcome back to my channel. It is mid-December and I thought this would be a perfect time to release this video covering the topic of should you get into real estate photography in 2023? So if you're thinking about getting into real estate photography in 2023, I think you need to decide on if you're gonna be getting into this part-time or full-time and we're gonna cover each one. So if you're gonna be doing this part-time, I don't think you're gonna find any trouble finding your very first clients. Your local church most likely has some realtors in there. Your mom or dad might be a realtor. Some of your friends might be realtors. So picking up your first two or three clients might be very easy. The problem with being a part-time real estate photographer is you're not all in, right? You're not gonna be as invested into your work. You're not gonna really invest money into your business. You're not gonna wanna improve the quality of your work. Uh, and that's a problem. For example, if you wanna be fit, but you only go to the gym once a week or once a month, you're not gonna see a lot of progress uh, in your health and in your fitness. Or if you want your relationships and friendships to work out, but you don't really invest in them, um, those relationships are not gonna last in the long run. And same thing with being a part-time real estate photographer. Yeah, you might get some clients very quickly, you might make some extra cash on the side, but retaining those clients uh, is gonna be a lot more difficult. Because think about this, a realtor gets uh, emails, cold calls, and DMs from other real estate photographers every single day. And those real estate photographers are doing this full time, which means there's, they're a lot more invested, they're offering a lot more services, and the quality of work is just a lot better than yours if you're part time. So even though you might get some clients uh, very quickly, um, you're not gonna be able to retain those clients for long because trust me, someone is always coming to take your clients. So that's the downside, sorry, downside that I see with being uh, a part-time real estate photographer. Um, I've never known any real estate photographer that lasts doing this part-time. They kind of burn out, they get tired of constantly looking for uh, new clients. Um, but it is a great way to make some extra cash if that's what you wanna do. Uh, so those are some of the positives and negatives of being a part-time real estate photographer um, in 2023. Now let's talk about being a full-time real estate photographer in 2023. I always tell people, if you're getting into this full-time, just know that you're now gonna be competing versus the best of the best. So now your skills need to improve, the list of services that you offer has to grow, um, right? Because you have to compete with all the other uh, big dogs in your area. Uh, for example, as a part-time real estate photographer, you might only have been offering photos. As a full-time real estate photographer, if you just offer photos, you're most likely gonna be out of business very quickly. So uh, you have to start offering videos, right? You have to start shooting 3D tours, such as Matterport, 3D Zilla walkthrough. Uh, you have to be able to shoot aerials, create floor plans, um, shoot headshots for realtors, shoot marketing content, be able to distribute that marketing content to platforms such as TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. So uh, before going full time, just be aware of how much work, how much investment you have to put into this business. Um, I always see real estate photographers uh, sell courses on a quick 10 step plan on how to make a hundred grand in your first six months as a real estate photographer. These courses are BS, um, let's be honest. You probably spent some money on them and the only thing that they teach is common sense. So I'm surprised that people spend $400 uh, on a course that tells them, you know, to go network, you know? So um, I think that just know that when you get into this full time, there's no quick 10 step plan. It's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of you developing your skills. Um, so just know what you're getting into because I've seen some people go from part-time to full-time and they burn out because it's a lot of work. Not only are you uh, spending a lot of time shooting for your clients, but you're spending double that, triple that, uh, sitting on your computer, learning uh, a different skill, um, improving your skills as well. So uh, just know it is a lot of work. Um, don't let me scare you off. I, I definitely want to see more people step into this full time. Uh, but know that being part time um, might be more your fit than being full time if you're not competitive and if you're not ready to step into the business world. And the last thing that I'll leave you guys with, and I really hope that this sticks with you, is don't look at yourself as a real estate photographer. 
Um, look at yourself as a business owner because at the end of the day, that's, that's what you are. You offer a service. I grew up with a lot of friends who carried around a camera, called themselves photographers, and they were always broke and they're still broke. So if you're gonna be getting into real estate photography in 2023, forget that you're a photographer, you're a, you're a business owner. And as soon as you start referring to yourself and looking at yourself like that, um, the sooner you'll start to see your business flourish because every deal you make with a realtor, every time you shoot for a client, every time you go after a new client, you're gonna be looking at it with a different perspective, a very goal-oriented uh, perspective. Instead of thinking as a regular photographer and uh, just going after any gig you could possibly have, right? Just to get a quick buck, right? So um, look at yourself as a business, uh, business owner first and a photographer second. I hope this video added value to you guys. If it did, it would mean a lot to me if you guys would support this channel with a like, a comment, and make sure to punch that subscribe button straight in the face. Thank you guys so much. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later, and hey, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.